Awesome, I got my resume. All I gotta do is write a cover letter. Dearing, hiring, oh, thanks Google. Um, I was excited to see the, nah. I have 10 years of, mm. I need this job, please hire me, please. Isn't writing a cover letter so much fun? How do you capture everything that you are and everything that you know in one page in a way that stands out? Imagine a world where writing a cover letter doesn't lead to an existential crisis. Today, I'm here to show you how to generate the perfect cover letter for any job in a way that is true to who you are, what you know, and matches the job description and the culture of the company perfectly. Best of all, it only takes five seconds. Let's see how we do it. And stick around till the end, because I'm gonna give this tool to you for free. All right, let's dive in. Imagine that you're Ada Johnson, a senior backend engineer who's on the lookout for a new job. The job that she wants could be a backend role or she's open to stepping into an engineering management position. Now here's a sample of what her resume could look like. So we can see she started her career as a front-end development intern, moved to becoming a full stack developer, and then a backend developer working on payment systems. Um, CICD, mentoring junior developers, and now she's at Big Data Tech where she helped them move to a microservices architecture and has gained some skills in Kafka and Kubernetes, etc. Now, depending on the job Ada wants to apply to, she has to highlight a different set of skill sets. If she's applying to a backend developer job, she might highlight her recent experience with microservices and Kafka and things like that. Whereas if she's applying to an engineering management role, she might highlight her leadership and problem solving and coaching skills. On top of that, Ada is not a one-dimensional person. She has some core values and she has a personality that makes her unique. A human applying for a job would go to the company's website, find what their culture is. They would go on Glassdoor, figuring out if there's some kind of red flags about the company or what she might expect for the salary for that kind of position. And then they would highlight their personality and experiences in a way that matches what the company is looking for. The goal is to be the solution to the company's problems. Now the question is, how can you automate this workflow in a way that's genuine to who you are and doesn't misrepresent your experience, your personality, while at the same time standing out as the unique snowflake that you are? Now, if you're on the job market, you're not gonna be applying to one or two companies. You're probably gonna be doing it over and over and over again. So it's important to actually write down the context that you wanna to pass to the LLMs. For example, what is your personality? What are your values? What is your history? And all those stories that make up your experience in the last couple of years. This is the context the LLM is gonna pull from in order to custom tailor a cover letter for that job posting. So let's dive in and write that out for Ada Johnson. So all you gotta do is just come to a Google Doc and just list out what you know about yourself, right? So here for Ada Johnson, I've said she's curiosity driven, an empathetic leader, a data driven decision maker, and her core values are quality, uh, courage, innovation. And then I go on to describe some of the challenges and things that she's done at Big Data Tech and Paytech Solutions. For example, the high volume data processing challenge seemed like a very tough challenge. She did some research, consulted with experts, made prototypes, and finally broke through by using a novel data caching technique. Or given the fact that she's an empathetic leader at Paytech Solutions, she actually started a pure mentorship program where she helped match mentors and mentees based on skills and career aspirations. Once you have this file ready, all you got to do is export it as a text file so you can just pass it to the LLM so you don't have to keep providing that context over and over again. So now you got your resume and you got everything about you. All that's left is to give it to the LLM along with the job description and ask it to write a cover letter. Luckily, I've actually already made a GPT that does this for you. Let's see how that works. Okay, here we are in the Coverall GPT, and we're gonna start by uploading the about me and the resume that I showed you earlier. Okay, it's uploaded. 
I don't even need to do anything. I'll just press send. And now it's just gonna wait for the job description. You can either paste it in, or we could use the web browsing functionality that comes with GPT-4 to simply pass it the job description's URL. Now I'm gonna run this through two examples so you can see how it custom generates a cover letter depending on the role and position. For the first one, we're gonna be applying to a backend engineer role on the billing team at Stripe. You can see some things that the LLM might pick up on and match. For example, you're obsessed with product quality and don't settle for good enough. Or perhaps you enjoy working with a diverse group of people with different areas of expertise. So I'm just gonna grab this link and paste it in and see what happens. There we go and go. So it's spinning up the web browser to read the job posting. And now it's searching for the Stripe company values and culture. And there you go. It's writing out the full cover letter and it even has references to the information it used to generate particular pieces of the text. Let's read it together. So immediately it's highlighting the deep commitment to innovation and quality. And it also picked up on Stripe's mission of increasing the GDP of the internet. Quite a lofty mission. Okay, I spearheaded XYZ and these projects not only enhance system scalability and maintainability, but demonstrate my ability to work with a wide range of systems, technologies, and processes. A key requirement for the role at Stripe. So let's take a look. There we go, and we see work with a wide range of systems, processes, and technologies. It goes on to highlight the emphasis on continuous improvement and backs that up with a story, and even highlight something from Stripe's culture, which is thinking long term. And just like I predicted, it's also highlighting the collaborative approach that Stripe takes which is a core aspect of her professional ethos. Now it's important to note, while this is a great cover letter, this is not the end of this process. She can then go and iterate on the things that it's generating or choose to highlight some things and exclude others. But this gives you a very good starting point and gives you all the context you need to do those iterations effectively and bring in the required information whenever needed. But what if she was applying to a different role? Maybe she wanted to get into engineering management. Could the GPT pull from her experiences and tailor it to a role that she hasn't done before? Let's see. So Affinity is a CRM for investors. And in this role, it looks like there'll be some leading, coaching, mentorship, agile processes, stand up, sprint planning, etc. It requires eight plus years of experience in full stack software engineering. Again, it highlights high quality and it also highlights how it's important to help engineers at all levels develop new skills. I think this is the kind of stuff that the LLM is gonna pick up on when generating the cover letter. So I'm just gonna upload those two files again and send a different job link but it looks like it failed. Maybe there was something about the website, like the text being loaded asynchronously that it just didn't like. So I'm just gonna come here and copy this and just pop it right in. This time it's looking for the core values and culture and it's starting to write the cover letter. Let's see what it's highlighting. Okay, we see that here at Big Data Tech, I have successfully led the team in developing customer facing features for our core products. That sounds like this over here, leading and scaling out a team that oversees customer facing features. And they go on to say, you will help define the technical roadmap. And if we go back here, we will see that her hands-on approach in orchestrating the development of the microservices architecture showcase my ability to drive technical roadmap and implementation. Now this part's interesting. So I Googled Affinity's culture and values and landed on this page. And here we can see that they use language like we are playmakers who empower teammates to do their best work. We take pride in what we do, etc. And actually ChatGPT decided to use the same language. As a playmaker, I have always been a team player empowering my colleagues to excel. You can see that this is a super high quality cover letter and hits on all the points. It even picks up that her experience with Ruby and Postgres is not extensive, but she can learn. It calls out any doubts that the hiring manager might have when trying to match her to this role and speaks to all those points. Now I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the exact instructions I use to make this GPT so that you can clone it and modify it to your heart's content and make your own custom GPT using OpenAI or use an open source alternative like OpenGPTs that Langchain just released. Okay, so here we are in the GPT's configuration page, and I just wanna highlight a couple of things. 
Down here, I've provided two example files, one about me and one resume, that the GPT will offer to show you if you need help deciding how to structure your about me file or maybe even your resume. But a lot of the instructions went just to tell the GPT not to use those to generate the final cover letter. So let's dive into the instructions. So near the top, we can see that we're just telling it who it is and it's specialized to generate cover letters. It has to effectively showcase their skills and experiences tailored to the job posting. So here using words like expertise and nuances of various industries and roles, I try to give it a little bit of a push to use industry specific keywords and things like that, depending on what was passed in. And we go on to tell it that it's gonna use the information provided by the user, such as the resume, job description, and any additional documents to create a cover letter. Here's some rules I found helpful. So the first rule just asks it to jump right into the meat of things. It used to generate these headers, like the name, address, phone number, etc., and I didn't want that. I'm telling it again that it should be specifically tailored to the job and highlight the resume and detailed personal history as a guide. The third rule makes sure that whatever is generated is actually factual based on what's been provided in the files or additional context and under no circumstances will it contain speculation or false experience. The fourth rule ensures that the emphasis is on the last five years so that whatever is generated is relevant and during an interview they can talk more about it. The fifth rule is a little fallback I put in place that is sometimes required if whatever you provided it isn't that clear, it will allow Coverall, which is the name of the GPT, to ask for clarification if it helps craft a better cover letter. Now let's take a look at the user-facing instructions. These are the instructions that tell the GPT how to interact with the user. So the first block tells the GPT that before generating a cover letter, it should ask the user to upload a resume and optionally an about me text file similar to the ones that I provided as a sample. It goes on to suggest to always ask if they wanna see a sample of the About Me text file that yields the optimal results. And if so, just print out what's in that About Me text file. The next step tells the GPT that if the user did not provide an About Me file, to try one more time to get them to provide that file because that's where a lot of the context comes from. In step three, we tell the GPT that the user can provide a job posting text or just provide a link, which should trigger the browser utility to understand the job posting. In step four, we tell the GPT to search the web for the company's core values and culture so that we can frame the user's persona better to fit the company culture. And in step five, we tell it to take everything it's learned in step one through four and generate a cover letter using all the rules that we had initially specified. We also have this all caps sentence that says never use those sample files that I provided in the knowledge base to generate the actual cover letter. Finally, I provided some system instructions that acts as a bit of guard against people trying to reverse engineer this GPT, similar to what I showed you in my last video on how to hack these GPT. Now this is just here as a good practice because I'm actually sharing my screen and sharing the instructions with you. But I just wanted to show you that when you are building your own, you might want to do this kind of thing. Of course, as of now, this is easily crackable. All right, you've now seen how powerful AI augmented job applications can be. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine what you could do by integrating a few actions into this GPT. What if prior to applying, it could go and grab the revenue and employee growth of the company or check Glassdoor and summarize the pros and cons of the company culture? What if you could use ZoomInfo's prospecting tool to find the hiring manager and send them a brief email introducing yourself, getting ahead of the 1500 other people who are waiting for that role? Now that's beyond the scope of this video, but I've actually covered it in GPT plus Zapier AI actions in my previous videos. Now, I didn't want to end this video without addressing some of the ethical considerations of using a tool like this. Let's take a closer look at some of these issues and see how much of a problem they really are. First up, the question of authenticity. 
Some might say that the AI tool will generate a cover letter that doesn't truly represent you. I'd argue that this tool is more of a personal assistant. You've given it all the context about you and it crafts the cover letter based on your experience and values. It's not about creating a false image. I'd argue that it actually helps present the real you in the best possible light. Now, if the job was a writing job and your cover letter was a sample of that work, then I would argue that maybe, yeah, there are some ethical boundaries being crossed. You might also be thinking, won't this make me a lazy writer? Well, despite the title of the video, it's actually not a great idea to take the first thing the LLM spits out and send that along as your cover letter. While it's a good starting point, if you're not iterating and getting it to incorporate your thoughts and ideas into the final output, you're missing out on opportunities to make it even better. And hey, editing and personalizing your AI drafted letter, that's a skill in itself. At the end of the day, you got to do what you're comfortable with. And now you know how to customize the workflow to match your ethical considerations. Now, before we wrap up, let's just take a brief pause. If you're watching this, you might be on the hunt for a new job. I know that job hunting can feel like navigating through a maze. It's a path filled with hopes, anxieties, and lots of hard work. My goal is that with this AI tool, you can light up a small part of that path and make it a bit easier. So go on out there, put your best self forward and make your cat proud. You've got this. As always, I've put a link to the GPT in the description. If you have any questions or ideas for how you can improve this or maybe recommendations on what you'd like to see next, don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and share this with anyone who might think that typewriters are the future. Let's go!